this your boy Resolve here, man. I'm sitting here playing Bound by Flame. Uh, I don't think it's very popular uh, on my friends list. I think I, I might have seen one person playing it. And uh, I think they gave up after like the first day. But uh, I mean, I'm in the RPG game, so I like the story that comes along with it. But this game is a lot like Dragon Age. Uh, and I feel that you have a lot more control over your character. See, my, my partner gets killed, and then she just landed on the ground. I had to do it all by myself, but man, uh, I suggest you know you play this game, man. It, it, it's it's pretty fun. Uh, if you like RPG games, I don't I don't think people like Virtual and DJ81 gonna be playing because you know when it comes to RPG games, they some haters. But you know that's all more uh, RPG games for me. But uh, man, that's a little inside joke. But anyway, I want to talk about the population of the casual gamer. Now I made a video. Uh, Madden video talking about how uh, Madden caters towards the casual gamer with these new features that they have. Now me being a hardcore gamer or a sim head, uh, however you want to put it, you know, that I, w I really wasn't feeling that too much. You know what I'm saying? Um, but there's a little funny story that goes along with this. Now, I was at my friend's house yesterday. I'm going to make it quick. At a cookout, uh, his cousins were over there. Uh, they were all, you know, in, they, in those teenage years. They pulled out NBA 2K14. K of course I'm going to play. Um, and, you know, you know when you play other people, man, they go into settings and they start messing with stuff, you know, trying to get it to their liking. And, you know, dude took off the fatigue settings. I'm just like, what? I, like, what do, you, what do you, you don't want your players to get tired? Like, he was like, nah, man, like, that takes the fun out of the game whenever you got to keep switching out your players and stuff. And I'm like, but that's how basketball is. People get tired in real life. He was like, nah, whenever we play, we take off fatigue, you know, and we just keep our best players on the court. It becomes, a, 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 I guess, a more action-packed, flashy, dunking type of game, you know. And that's how the NBA has become, too, you know, more flashy, more dunks. That's what people want to see. And I'm just like, man, like this casual gamer thing is, is is very serious. And I'm sitting there thinking like, man, I remember back in the day whenever uh, I had these games right here. These games right here. I was almost scared to take these games off of my shelf because if you grow up in my generation, you know the frustration of these games. You've breaking your controllers. You've slammed down on your consoles. You've cried in your pillows. However, you took your anger out on these games, but every one of these games are frustrating in their own way. Whether you die in one hit, too many enemies on the screen, the game is glitched out. <laughs> Man, I can't even begin to explain, but I think the developers have caught up on that now. And, you know, unlike the 80s, developers nowadays actually want you to complete their games. Uh, you know, I think games don't need to be hard just for the sake of being hard. And I think developers have definitely caught on to that. Now, have the games been getting easier? Mm, yes and no. More yes than no, but yes and no. Back then you had, you know, a, a, a controller with two buttons and a stick or whatever that control your character or ship or whatever. And now you actually have a controller with eight more buttons with a crazy amount of options and customizations to choose from, you know, you, you take somebody off the street that's never played a video game before, put him in front of Contra or Galaga, and see how frustrated he gets. But if you put him in, in front of one of the games nowadays, you know, the, the learning curve will probably be a little more easy. So, with that being said, when it comes to Madden, I can't, I, I, I can't blame him for putting that type of stuff in the game. Now, when it comes to my stance changing on the game being sim, I'll just have to wait till the game comes out to, to, to make my opinion on that. But, my whole point of this video is, I think for now the casual gamers will definitely outpopulate the hardcore sim gamers. And that's where, you know, a lot of these games are headed towards. So, uh, man, tell me what you think, man. Give me your opinion. I would love to know and hear what you think. It's your boy Resolve, man. I got mine. What's yours?